Greetings, Commanders! Welcome to another breakdown video. Take a look at Vega. Woo! Today's breakdown is Vega, the number three airship commander. He's in the big three. He's one of the three 40% airship commanders up there with Golem, Raymond, and Vega. Golem being the premium, expensive commander, Raymond being the faction only commander, and then Vega, the free to play natural B commander. Uh, Vega doesn't get a lot of attention. Commanders like Raymond and Golem get far more attention in the airship class. Um, and maybe rightly so, maybe not. There are some inter interesting things about Vega, uh, and this is his alternate skin, uh, that most people don't talk about that I think actually are worth going over. So when it comes to the, uh, the meta of airship commanders, remember, you've got Rogers as the number one defensive commander, Golem as the number one offensive commander because of Crush, and then Blader, who's like a balance of toe-to-toe -to -toe fighting, def defense with offense, and then he has pounce, which is a ignore strength and weak and ignore tier suppression skill. Um, so Raymond and Vega kind of fall behind those three major guys. That's why you don't see a lot of them too often. Uh, but uh, Vega actually is really good, especially for the, uh, the free-to-play players or low-cost players. Um, and the first thing let's talk about is he has a very unique heal skill. Um, I thought it was like elves. It's not. Uh, the way Quip Replenish works, it's a 20% skill, not 22. That's because I have Dominion Hall on. 20% uh, skill, and it gets 1% per level. And basically what it says is if you have 100 troops and your opponent hits you for 99 and you have one troop left, then you will heal for whatever percentage you have the skill. So uh, if, well, let's let's be a better example. If you have 101 troops and you get hit for 100 troops, as long as one survives, uh, this will trigger, and uh, if you'd already had it on you, which uh, and it'll heal whatever percentage. So if you have it at 60% skill, uh, level 60, 60%, 60 you'll get 60 of those guys back. It's as clear as day. I'll show that in a replay later. I don't want to fumble over my words anymore. It's basically, if you get hit for 100 damage at level 60, it heals 60 of it back. So simple as that. I like that. Nice and easy. And it lasts all the way until that, this troop stack goes again. And uh, it, it doesn't work against uh, Plasma's Bomb and I'm pr pretty sure a couple other things, but it will trigger off Awakenings, which is nice. Uh, the second skill is, well, the third skill, of course, the Airship Awakening hits everything very nice. Best Awakenings in the game. I like them better than Walker and Infantry, but typical Airship Awakening. And of course, the main skill, the 40% skill. <sighs> it's a complicated skill. It's not straightforward because it kind of works like the Sagittarius gem. It says 40% chance to trigger before the action, uh, this attack will hit and it disregards opponent's defense buffs. Really good. At level 50, it ignores 100% of your opponent's defense buffs. It's not removes 100% of their buffs entirely. It literally just says like if they have 500% bonus to defense, this lowers it to 400%. I'm pretty sure about that. However, I've got a really interesting replay that maybe thinks we should investigate this a little bit more. Um, so, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time digging on that. Let's do his flavor text and we'll go into the replays. Now, uh, different than other professional assassins, Vega likes to strut when he enters through the main gate, when he reaches his goals. In his spare time, he's the drummer of a heavy metal, heavy metal band called Child of Doom. He always keeps the perfect balance between work and play. All right, so party hard. Okay, so he's a bit of a showboater, and he's in a metal band. This is his uh, Easter skin. This is his regular skin. Uh, the Easter skin comes around in Easter. I don't know if it came around this year. I don't think it did. Anyway, uh, going into the replay. So the first one I want to show you guys is kind of what we expect. Uh, if you go there... You're, you are going to see what a typical golem in the exact same gear does to a level 20 nightmare. And the reason I say golem is because really is, is Vega better than golem? And the answer is probably not. Golem has a double attack skills. Vega has a heal skill. Here's a basic hit. Basic hit, 977,000. 977. That was actually high for uh, tier 10 infantry with the same exact gear. So here comes the crush. 977 becomes 2.4 million. Uh, so Golem's Crush at level 32. Now remember, these skills aren't the same level, so it's not the, not ideal. Uh, but basically, he's getting a 266% damage increase on that Crush. Now, in the same exact gear with the same exact troops against the same exact monster, we want to see how Breakdown, Vegas 40% skill, compares to Golem's Crush. Uh, now, you'll see that Breakdown requires your opponent to have high defense to get 
a lot of benefit out of his skill, right? Because he's lowering their defense. Well, this monster doesn't get, you know, research and haul bonuses. Uh, it just has whatever gear it's wearing. So literally there's 5.4 there, 13.5 there. Yeah, literally like 19% defense. So we don't expect his breakdown to do much here. Uh, but we'll show it anyway just for sake, just for the sake of the video. Uh, now remember there's a 10 to 15% or 10, 15 to 20% damage variance. So we should see 977, we see 936. So pretty close to what Golem's hit was. Same exact gear, so it should have been the same. So 930,000, and then here comes the breakdown trigger soon. we got to wait till it goes around. I think we'll get it. Now the front and the back row hit for the same damage. That's how the gear is set up, so you don't have to worry about the damages being different. All right, so back row's going. One troop. Nope, no, that's the third slot. Here we go. All right, fourth slot. Come on, everything but the breakdown. Jeez. All right, it'll be on this one. And uh, we're going to see a damage hit of, instead of 930, 973. So damage went up less than 10%. Now remember, there is a variance there, but Golem's hit was for 2.4 million. Vegas, same exact troops, hit for basically exactly the same damage. Didn't gain any benefit there. Now remember, Vegas skill was only level 15 in this replay, and Crush was at level 33, but the gear was the same, and you'll see that the bonus wasn't that big for Vega. So does that mean Vegas sucks? Well, it means Vegas sucks against people that aren't wearing gear, right? He's not getting any value out of people not wearing gear or monsters because they don't have much gear in the first place. But I had some help from a community member, and... Uh, Agden decided to just upload a ton of videos. So I went through them. I got the, the information I needed. Um, I have proof of the heal so that you guys can see how the heal works. I think um, I will show that at the end. Let's do the damage replay. So in replay four, here we go. He shows us what his gear is. Basically, he's going against a heavily defense gear Stella, or uh, the X, excuse me. Not heavily defense. He had Armor of the Tyrant, which is pretty much all defense. And then he's got uh, Magiwell Pants, which have some defense. So when he triggers his breakdown, and this is a high-level Vega. This is probably his main. Uh, when he triggers his breakdown, he's going to hit really hard. Now, remember, he's going against Tier 2 here, and he's got Tier Suppression on. Uh, so he's getting hit for zero. But watch this breakdown hit. Level 50 ignores 100% of the defense, and he hits for... 900,000. 900,000. And he kills 2,600 or so. Um, I need to pause the video here. In the Sagittarius video, we had trouble trying to figure out because Sagittarius was always hitting the same damage, but more troops were dying. We just didn't notice it because the base troops HP was lowering. So uh, in this example, it doesn't work that way. Uh, the damage does increase when defense is lowered. So you can take the values as true values. They You don't have to worry about how many troops died. I did double check that. If you want to double check it, you're welcome to, but I've already done that. All we care about is the damage because that's all that matters. So in the first hit, it was 900,000. Here comes the second hit. It's going to be a Gemini. So we get to see it twice. Uh, and uh, that's going to be with the base damages. Gemini is always the base damage, so we'll see it twice. So instead of 900,000, it's 188. Here comes again, 179. So you're asking yourself, how did the first breakdown hit for 900,000? 900,000. Let's go ahead. Let's revisit it one more time. Breakdown, level 50, ignores 100% of defense. Instead of 177, it hits for 900,000. So breakdown obviously has the potential to do a ton of damage. How does that factor in with tier suppression? How does that factor in against tier seven versus tier two compared to a normal hit? As far as we know, it shouldn't matter. But the fact is, is that was a really hard hit. And in fact, if you do the math on it, uh, 900,000 divided by 177, was it? That's a 450% damage increase at level 50. That's huge. That's bigger than Crush, you would think, because Crush usually doesn't hit that up to three times as much, 300%. Uh, so something's going on in this replay. I don't want to give the impression that, that Vega hits harder than Golem in all scenarios. I think in some scenarios, it actually is possible that Vega can hit harder. But I'm going to uh, throw this one out to other people that have level 50 Golems that can get or level 30 golems and level 30 vegas. If you have exact same gear with, with a vega and a golem with the exact same setup, try to get some replays. Put them on YouTube. Tag me. Hit me up online or Discord. 
Share the replays sharing the exact same troops against the exact same opponent with just the difference between breakdown and crush, and that would give us a more definitive answer. In the meantime, I want people to to still believe that Golem is the hardest-hitting commander, uh, but Vega is no slouch. So if you're not sure about getting what airship commander you want, if you don't want to switch factions to Raymond or you don't want to pay for... For Golem, just know that uh, Vega is a reliable choice. Vega is a legit choice. Now, I'm going to show the heel. I think here, one more time, I'll show that heel. Uh, and it's just how it works. It's really neat. So quick replenish triggers on the first slot. And uh, we'll talk about the heel. So the heel is uh, just whatever he loses. So if, he, if it's a level 30 skill and he loses 100 troops, if it triggered the skill, he gets 30 back. That simple. So Vega's going to trigger another one here. Yeah, there was a heal that went out. All right, we got double quick replenishes. So here comes a dead shot, hits for 2019, and he heals back 35% of the troops, 31 troops out of 90 or something. So it's literally that simple. I don't need to, to show it you know, more and more. If you guys want to just pause the video and go backspace to look at it, you're welcome to do it. Um, but that pretty much that pretty much covers Vega, man. I'm a huge fan of Vega. I've always been a big fan of Vega. He's the, he's the coolest, one of the coolest looking commanders in the game by far. I mean, look at that skin. Look at it. Just look at it. He's a dwarf. He's got sick hair. Super muscular. Very cool. And he's free to play. So, uh, yeah. Big fan of Vega. That pretty much covers it. If you have any more information on Vega, like I said earlier, hit me up in line. Put the replays on YouTube. Let's take a look. I think, ultimately, Vegas does scale better. The higher your opponent's gear is, he will hit, continue to hit harder and harder. So he's really good in that regard. As opposed to Raymond, who... Eh, just double damages, and it doesn't. And, and not to remember, Vega's skills will trigger and stack with Leo and Sagittarius and Scorpio. And when their defense is lowered, whatever bonus that gives you, the bonus damage provided by other skills and gems will also stack on top of that. So, very hard hitting. A second hardest airship, or second hardest hitting in the game next to Golem, I think. More research is warranted, but certainly no slouch. So that that pretty much covers it. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Melt, and remember, peace is bad for business. Thank you.